corrective knowledge is saying that the correction was when we saw it. Did you say that a little while ago in the it's, house report? It's, yes, sir. Roughly. So really it's nothing accomplished. That pressure's not buying. That, that, that's make sure. But again, until more yeah. investigative work is done to have something to compare to is only guesstimate right now on how long it's going to be. I, and that's the way I look at it. Just as, as plain and simple. They're going to have to go in and, and pull more data and have the scientists look at that data to see how it's changed over time and give a better estimate. like to make a statement. Uh, in the future, uh, well, we have, I know I have sent emails asking that, uh, you know, if we go to a meeting and you present us something, whether it's at Tex Ron Trailer or here sometimes, uh, you, you're presenting what you plan on, what you're going to do. You've already got your wheels and rolls in motion. And so regardless of how this meeting comes out, you're still going to do it because you've already got the, the wheels in motion. What we'd like is uh, some advance notice, something that, that we have, we can sit down at home and look at and read and then say, hmm, I got some questions about this, or why didn't they do this? Or and why can't we have that? Instead of instead of these passive big wells, that just you know maybe maybe it, it it doesn't seem significant to you, but you know we can't do anything about the bubble that comes up. But why is it that we have to put up with the freely bidding of, of gas into our communities? You know, luckily, you know, they're saying there's, there's no volume there. Well, then, as soon as they found out, why didn't they plug it? Why didn't they stop it? Why are we still doing it? Well, we're, in, I understand, uh, the, the past event wells are being plugged. And they've already been shut in. Well, can we, can we have the assurance that you know, if you're going to do something, let's make sure that, that there's a way to monitor the gas that's coming out, that, that it can be sampled. You know, we no, need to know the volume of what's going on. You know, that, you know, I hate to say it, guys, you know, you're the ones that we depend on. You know, so, so please, you know, you know, you know, take a step back and say, man, if I was there, what would I want? And they do try to do that. I mean, you and I have emailed and talked, and uh, Mike had sent some stuff on that one on the very same subject. It wasn't done, you know, DNR, when we looked at their work plan and added the uh, issues about the monitoring, we were thinking about it. As a matter of fact, the whole point of the past event, well, we were thinking about the concerns folks had to be PPE. And that was something the community was like, we got a problem with that. That got, that got stopped. Another idea comes up. We look at it. We thought everybody was comfortable with it based on what had been presented in the trailer. And, it, you know, we still had some concerns. We check, and we're going to take it. Next time they come around, we def we're definitely going to have that in consideration. As far as I know, the concerns about how much is freely coming out in the community, that was in part of the plan that... They knew they had to go through. If, that, if any of those past event wells had started really pushing something up, that had to go flare. And that's why we had the additional additional air monitoring at the sites, which we know a couple of those sites they missed on. That was to augment what's already there. We've got the parish has got air monitors throughout the community. The EQ's making their rounds. Texas Brown has got their, their monitors. They've had to, they've had to put in under orders. That was that just to add another layer. It wasn't like there was nothing being monitored during that period. Well, you know, past the vent well, you know, that vent well was sitting right in line in, what was it, 20 feet away? There was another ORW there with the cubing and stuff. 
why did not just hook up to it and, and whatever came out just went that way? I mean, that's that's the simple thing. You got to overcome the pressure in the line. Well, that's, that's their problem, not mine. You know, that's, that's it should it shouldn't be my problem that they fit it into the to the atmosphere. We that's their problem. Nick. We we understand, Nick, but it, I. I I'll just follow up, and Texas Brown is the responsible party. They have a responsibility to remove the gas out in the, both the shallow and the aquifer to protect the community. And we're going to stand stand tall in the emergency order that they they uh, mitigate this incident. But you can't. And we're going to we're going to you keep your, you your concerns. You can't let them do what they want to do, and for the for the people of the community, when when the people of the community are saying we don't want this. Do it another way. You know? we, we, we recognize that one because, and it's something I think, uh, I guess Michael left. He, he and I had, to, to do he and I had gone back and forth with talking about it. From the science perspective, when you put those stacks eight feet high, it made sense. Methane's going to rise, so that's not coming back down. You get hydrogen sulfide, you get any hydrogen sulfide, probably not going to be in volume. And you've got the monitors down low, so that's probably going to pick anything that would come off of that up. And you're talking about such a low pressure, low volume, it's going to be diffused before it ever gets past those little fences we made to put around it. I just want to throw one thing out. Mm -hmm. That sinkhole has never happened before. Mm -hmm. That situation has never happened before. So who's to say the next one doesn't happen right here with one of these experimental deals that, that's going on? I understood. But where we're trying, where we're trying, where we're pushing them to do stuff is to get the gas out to. Get it, get it back to y'all as, as soon as we possibly can, though. We know every day is too long. Well, you realize there are people that want to stay here. Then there are those that, that are never coming back. You know, so for those that want to stay here, you know, you, you need to focus to make sure that wherever they're at, you know, you do whatever you can to get that gas out. You know, but quit experimenting on with us over there. Gary, he got. 